And let's go ahead and hit tab to bring everything else back. And let's do another type of object. And in fact, we won't even need our emissive, so we can go ahead and turn that off, or our scattering. Go back to our layers here. We'll go ahead and just take all these layers, don't need them, select them all, hit the trash can. And then under textures, textures color folder, let's hit a fill layer. Oops, drag that in there, there we go. So now for this, just because we're doing look dev, doesn't mean you can't just paint in here uh, or even add extra height detail. There's a couple different ways to do that and, and also have any like grunge generators or anything also affect any new height that we paint. So if we go down here, let's go down here to materials. I'm gonna do like a steel rust. And in fact, if I just click that, it'll go ahead and change that fill layer to be steel rust. If you wanna keep track of that, let's double click that and rename it. So here's our steel rust here. And on top of this, let's go ahead and add a new fill layer. Let's dial in just our own base color here. And you know what, since we're talking about, again, not advanced, but just a few more things you can do in here, let's go ahead and model uh, this up, just like we could do to dirt later on. So I'm gonna go through here, instead of just coloring this in red, what I can do is I can have a fill layer drive this. So I'm gonna right click here and say, add a fill. So now this fill layer is controlling what's gonna be shown through here. And in this case, I only want this fill layer to control what's gonna happen in the color channel. And what's gonna happen in the color channel, I wanna be grungy. So I'm gonna go over here to my grunges. We're gonna look through here for like an interesting, interesting grunge, maybe this grunge dirt thin. I'm gonna drag that right on my base color. And you may be thinking, great, now we have a uh, dirty gray paint. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I want uh, maybe a red or a blue paint, but just to be kind of modeled uh, with different shades of blue through here. So this is how we're gonna do that. First of all though, I'm gonna go up here to scale and you can go through here and you can dial this in and out to kind of make these a little bit bigger or smaller. So we'll make that, uh, scale that down just a bit. And then on top of this fill layer, we're gonna go through here, say add a filter. We're gonna add a gradient. Now when the gradient looks at our fill layer, you see it's changing just slightly. It's basically this gradient is looking at the black values, the mid grays and the white values and changing the color of those based on what's plugged into this gradient. So it's looking at this grungy fill layer and replacing those values with a different color. In this case, it's replacing them with black, gray, and white, so it doesn't change that much. However, if we wanna do like a red paint, we can go through here and we'll say, okay, uh, here's a little bit of, so the darker areas of that grunge are gonna be uh, red. And then this one, we'll go in here and you know what, we'll take this paintbrush and we'll select that original red. And let's modify this original red a little bit. We'll say some of those areas are gonna be kind of a darker red. And then down here in the light areas, Again, paint color select the original. And now these ones are gonna be like maybe a little more orangey. We'll bump up that orange and bunch of bump up that value. So now you can see we're getting a kind of a mottled, mottled red look as opposed to just a flat red. It just gives us a little more visual interest. And if you ever change your mind, you're like, oh, I wish I could do blue. Instead of going through here and changing these, let's right click here. We'll do add another filter. And on top of here, we're just gonna drop in scroll down one, uh, hue, saturation, and levels. And again, we're gonna, when you do this filter, it, it turns off everything. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off color and displacement. Um, same thing for the gradient. We just want wanna change the color. So the fill just has the color channel on, gradient has color, and then hue, saturation, and lightness is only affecting that color. And it's going through the stack. So it's starting with that grunge. The gradient is, re is replacing those values with different colors. And now this, I can go through here and I can say, you know, I can change the hue. If I want to do maybe more of a blue paint, I can go through here and maybe make it a more saturated blue or maybe a duller, you know, darker blue. I can also go through here and change the lightness to kind of dial in that look. And this one, we'll go ahead and just name it paint. And now this paint is applied on our entire object. And we've done this a bunch of times before. If you're just joining us, go back through the other videos. But if we want to control where this paint goes, we can right click this and say, Number one, we can add a mask, and this is something we didn't really talk about in the Marmoset one or this one, where you can like create your own smart materials, create your own smart mask. You definitely can. If we add a black mask here, and in fact, we go in here to smart masks, we can say like edges scratched. So we can go through here and just drag that right onto our black mask. And now it'll scratch away our edges. And all that is is just a mask edgeware generator with a sharpened filter applied. So pretty simple. Uh, an alternative to that, if you have a black mask applied, you can right click this and say add generator. And then in the generator, you can say metal edge wear. And of course the edges are now where the paint's gonna stay. I wanna flip that, so I'm gonna say invert is true. So now when I dial in this wear level, you're gonna see that. Now, if, as I do this, you're like, oh, that steel's very dark. Always remember, you can go back to the steel rust 
go down here and just change that metal color if you want to kind of lighten that up a bit. So now back to our paint layer here and our mask and our metal edge wear. You can go through here and you can change the contrast. You can go through and say, you know what, this grunge isn't really doing it for me. Crank up that wear contrast. Wear level is going to dial that in. Now to demonstrate what I'm going to show you, uh, let's simplify this just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. We have a black mask again. Let's go down here to our smart masks and we're going to choose edge strong scratch. So we're going to drag that right over here. It's going to find our edges and scratch them. And actually, you know what? Let's just do edges strong. I'm just going to drag that on top of there. There we go. So it's finding our edges. And um, let's go to the mask editor here and say global invert true. There we go. So wherever we have an edge, it's going to scratch that edge off and you're going to see the steel underneath. 